Hey guys, what's up? I'm Paul and hope everyone out there is having a fantastic day tonight or afternoon whenever you plan on watching this video. So today we are talking about the greatest horror sequel ever made where everyone keeps having odd flashbacks back to the original first movie. Yes, even the pet dog gets a flashback. <laughs> Wes Craven's 1985 wonder, The Hills Have Eyes Part 2. And our friends over at Arrow Video sent us an extra early Blu-ray copy for us to review. This won't hit streets till September 17th, 2019, so let's get to it. Alright guys, so the history of the making of this film is an incredible read and I encourage everyone to read it. If you're into filmmaking whatsoever, it is a must read. In a nutshell, Wes Craven was making a sequel to his hit of The Hills Have Eyes, but he stopped in the middle of production because he ran out of money. Later, after his major breakthrough hit of Nightmare on Elm Street was a huge success, New Line Cinema wanted another hit from Wes Craven as soon as possible and hired Craven to finish his sequel. But there was one catch that ended out severely killing the film. The studio ended up not giving him enough money to actually complete the film and refused to shell out more to do so. So Craven's hands were completely tied and did the only thing he could do and padded the runtime with various flashbacks from the victims of part one, so much so that they ran out of people to do flashbacks with. So what do you do when you run out of people? Well, you use a dog, of course. It's the only logical step is to give a dog a flashback. Now, do, do dogs even have flashbacks? Anyways, Wes Craven knew that this was a disaster and even went public disowning the film and tried to stop it from even being released. It is held as the worst sequel of all time and one of the worst films ever made. And I love every second of it. So guys, how's the Blu-ray treatment on this one from Arrow Video? Well, first, per usual, here are the Blu-ray specs. The Hills Have Eyes hits Blu-ray September 17th from Arrow Video with an HD 1080p transfer and a 1.0 mono audio track and it maintains the original theatrical aspect ratio of 1.85 to 1. All right, guys, well, let's dig into the Blu-ray review and see how this Blu-ray stacks up. Guys, at first, I was shocked, utterly shocked by the video transfer of how bad it was. The opening company logos and credits has a lot of debris and hairs and scratches and white lines through it but that quickly goes away as the movie opens. I'm not sure what happened with the opening logos and the titles, but the rest of the transfer of throughout the film is absolutely fine. It's fairly clean and colors are natural and bright. Skin tones look natural too. There is some nice details and textures that look better than I've ever seen them before with this movie. And the HD does beef up the color and overall video quality. It's the best I've ever seen the film look on the home media market. All right, guys, now let's dig into the audio transfer. As I said, this is a mono audio track, but it gets the job done. Dialogue is even, it's crisp, it's clear. I didn't have to blast the volume up loud to hear everything that's being said. Music and sound effects are also good, but you can definitely tell the age and the budget constraints by the sound. But Honestly, the sound effects and music does have some nice force behind it that's adequately nice for the film. There really isn't much more I can say about the audio transfer. It's a good sounding, decent mono mix that I was overall happy with. And just like with the video transfer, this is the best I've ever heard the Hills Have Eyes Part 2 sound on home media. All right, guys, now how about those extras? Well, it includes a new 2019 audio commentary. It also includes a new documentary of the making of Hills Have Eyes Part 2 featuring cast and crew interviews and it includes the theatrical trailers. And this limited edition collector set also includes six postcards with artwork from the film 
a reversible fold-out poster, a 40-page limited edition booklet, and of course, per usual with Aero video releases, a reversible sleeve featuring newly commissioned artwork, especially made for this Aero video Blu-ray release. All right, so how about those Blu-ray scores? For the video, I'm gonna give it a four out of a five, the audio a 3.5 out of a five, the extras are great, a four out of a five, overall Blu-ray score, a four out of a five, as for the film itself, I'm going to give it a 3 out of a 5. Again, this is held as one of the worst sequels ever made, and also one of the worst movies ever made, and Wes Craven knew it. But after 30 plus years watching it now with 2019 eyeballs, and after watching the documentary, I found a lot of newly respect for this film to the point that I'm glad I, I do have it in my collection to watch again in the future. Yes, it's cheesy. It's not well directed or acted. A dog has a flashback sequence, but it's also fun because of all those issues. And it comes with a great audio and video presentation on this Blu-ray and this nice collector set. It's worth picking up September 17th, 2019. But guys, now I'm curious. Have you seen The Hills Have Ice Part 2? And what did you think of it? And also, do you plan on picking up the Blu-ray? Let me know down below. And as always, stay tuned for some more reviews. Thanks to Aero Video. Thanks to all you guys for supporting our little channel here. And we'll see you in the future. <laughs>